Hello, people of the internet. My name is Diversity, and I'm bringing a Call of Duty Black Ops 2 gameplay this time. We're going to play a little bit of Domination on the map Raid. However, before this video starts rolling, and you realize the quality is bad, you can always change the quality to 720p HD in the settings below. You'll see this little gear thing, and if you click that, you can change your quality to 720p HD. And hope you guys enjoy it. But I'm not here to talk about settings, I'm here to talk about Domination. Um, originally this gameplay was meant to talk about the MSMC, but I posted a video on my channel, but, you know, so what am I going to do with this gameplay? So I decided, why not talk a little about Domination? Everyone loves the game type Domination, people play competitively, people play for fun, and Domination is one of the top three gameplays that, game types that offer you the most points. I believe Hardpoint is the first game type that gives you the most points. Um, I play that the most, and it just levels me up very quickly, so... I play that game type the most, then Kill Confirmed I believe gives you the second most points, and then it's Domination. Domination is a very fun game type to play if you haven't played it in a long time. Um, right now I'm running with Anarchy Super V and Anarchy X Ninja. Uh, thank you for letting me run with them. Um, so, Domination and Call of Duty Black Ops 2, the point system works like this. You get 100 points for each kill. You get 25 to 75 points for each assist, depends on how much damage you give your enemy. And now when you capture a neutral flag, you gain 50 points. Like when you start off with all the flags on neutral and you cap your first flag in front of you, you'll get 50 points for that. Um, you, when you're trying to cap neutral flag B flag, the one in the middle, you get 200 points for that. And when you just capture a flag, any flag, you get 200 points for that. When you kill an attacker of one of your flags, you get a plus 25 point bonus, and so you get a 125 in total. And when you kill a defender, you get a plus 25 point bonus as well, which is 125 for a kill. Now, one last thing is when you kill somebody when you're capturing a flag, that's 200 points as well. So when you kill someone while capturing a flag, 200 plus another 200 for dominant capturing that flag, so that equals a 400 point moment and that's pretty awesome that's pretty crazy uh... that's a lot of points so domination really helps you to level up a lot faster and um, it's a very fun game play to game type to play when you're really bored or something like that and another thing about domination is that they turned it into two parts now so there's a part one and then you switch sides and there's a part two which i found that to be really interesting um, my first impression of that was I hated it, but because it was just pointless to me, it was just a waste of time. But now I just find it, you know, just a t typical type, a uh, little thing they put into domination game type. So I don't mind it that much anymore, but still, it's very interesting how they sorted out. Uh, I guess they want to make the playing field even. Um, but I don't see how that ha works, but okay. Um, top three tips for domination is that you really want to work as a team, even if you other teammates don't have a mic and you have a mic I would suggest you guys to use the mic because your teammates will obviously hear you still talk and um, when you call out flags for which flags you guys want to take that w really helps the team chemistry you know work better my second tip for you guys is to um, pay attention to the icons as you can see right now there have two green triangle thingies and one red tri orangey triangle thing so when one you gotta really pay attention to when one is starting to lose its color. That means an enemy is dominating it, and the announcer will say when you play. So you really gotta keep your ears out and ears open and your eyes open to see which flag is going, and um, you know to prevent that flag to be lost. Now the kill streaks I'm running with Arena are the Lightning Strike, Hellstorm, and uh, Hunter Killer. These three kill streaks playing domination on this map is insane. I don't know if you've been paying attention to them or not. Once I get my first hunter killer and I let it go and I kill somebody, I get my hellstorm and lightning strike right away. So it's a very good deal. Um, I'll take it any day. So th this top three kill streaks are my favorite by far. Now um, I'll be running with these kill streaks a lot. And if you're, you know. If you're losing pretty bad, I'm sorry. What can I say? These three kill streaks are the best. So I would recommend you use that. Major Ponage will occur, so warn the enemy team before you guys start. Back to your tips for domination. My third tip is to um, don't go for all three flags. Leave at least one flag open so you can um, you know where the enemy team will spawn at least. Because usually 
the way domination plays is that if you capture A, that means you'll spawn where the A flag is, but and the enemy capture C, they'll spawn there. But if you capture all three, you don't know where they'll spawn. They'll spawn anywhere, and then that'll give them the possibility to, you know, regain a flag. So I would highly suggest you maintain only two flags, so you know where the enemy will always spawn. And sometimes this leads to spawn trapping, and it's a bit frustrating. But um, get ready for the next round. Yeah, try to leave at least two flags open. One flag um for the enemy team. You know, you'll still win by a lot, and don't worry about that. So domination is a very, very fun game type. It helps you gain a lot of points, and you know it helps your KD go up. <laughs> As you can see, I'm really dominating right now, and I never dominated this badly before. So it's very shocking to me as well how well I'm doing. But you know, domination. You got to play defensive when it needs to be time to play decent defensive and you need to play aggressive when you can play aggressive you can't play solo you'd have to work according to your team that's usually a problem for me I always try to dominate um, I try to play aggressively but my enemy team plays passively so I, I die a lot and my kitty just drops so it's just a hassle sometimes so you really gotta think of what your teammates are doing at the moment and if you can communicate with them um, you know that will be the best thing to go for and if they're not PTFOing and you want to PTFO just leave the lobby there's no use in talking to these little kids who can't play so um, you know if you really want to try really want to practice you know that's that's the best way just find a lobby that ha actually has people that will try um, or you can go to play league play I don't re really favor league play because I don't have a crew to run with I don't have a team so league play for me is very unlikely but if I have someone to run with I will play league play but other than that I play a lot of pub matches so um, if you want to join me just send me a message and I'll love to play with you guys and uh, that was pretty much for domination topic because I covered up mostly everything another thing I want, kinda want to like a side note about domination game ties is that they go on for quite a long time um, usually, other game ties will last for about nine or eight minutes, but this game plays about ten minutes, so it's a bit longer than I expected. So I kind of ran out things to say. Um, an announcement I will kind of want to make is that Sons of Anarchy made a new channel. It's specifically for Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I don't know where this video will be uploaded to, but if this is uploaded on the main channel, uh, Sons of Anarchy made a Call of Duty Black Ops 2 channel. Ex Explicitly for that. So if you want to check out awesome gameplays from their the crew, just subscribe to them. The um, I think the descriptions will be in the the, the link will be in the descriptions below. So um, I suggest you guys if you if you're a huge fan, anyways, just go over there and subscribe and just some support because this team is phenomenal. They have the best players and um, you know hope they will do a lot of good work in this community as well. And um, yeah, so that's what I kind of wanted to say. Uh, I still have a couple minutes left. Don't really know what I want to talk about, um, but I just want to say I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Um, thank you, Sons of Anarchy, for uploading this gameplay on your channel. Um, hope the reviews are positive. If not, I guess I'll have to stop sending you guys my videos. But um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave it in the comments below that you enjoyed it. Um, and just thanks. I can't say thank you enough to Sons of Anarchy. And um, leave it a rating. And just tell me how you guys think of my commentary and my videos. And um, I really look for feedback. Uh, feedback is one of the key things for me. I really love feedback so I can become a better YouTuber. I just started recently so I know I suck. But um, I'm trying to get there to be a better commentator and a better gamer. So I can only go with your support. And uh, you know I can't. You know, I can't say that enough. So, thank you guys very much for watching. This is my, my fifth time saying thank you. So, um, I, I think my voice tends to drone a little bit. So, did the commentary might have been dull, but I hope it was a bit informative for you guys. And um, you guys can play domination better if you're looking for a domination play um, teammate or a PTFO teammate. You know, just message me. I would love to play with you guys. I I really want the community to be tight knit. So. I try to interact with my viewers and other viewers and just, you know, as an overall group. And this migrating host was such a pain. That's what I, one thing I don't like about Call of Duty Black Ops 2, or Call of Duty series, the, whatchamacallit, oh well.
Um, the host is a player, so like if the player quits, it's just a pin in the butt and everything goes sideways. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Like I said, leave a comment um, or a rating. If you're new around here, you should always subscribe to Sons of Anarchy. They are an awesome team. Their gameplays are phenomenal. You'll learn a lot just from watching them from their style of technique. They have funny um, in-game comms. So, hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. And thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.